The final full week of October began with a Tochinoshin appearance on NHK's morning show to speak of his love for garlic, which he views as a Georgian trait. He claimed he was chastised for smelling of garlic while doing his sumo training. And he's also fronted other events to diversify his portfolio. October 23rd also saw N. Hall resume pushing practice for the first time in five months with fifth tier Onokuda. He got the thumbs up from his doctor last week. The fear factor has gone, N. Hall said. If it's just a case of colliding with someone, I'm very okay with that. I think I can already impact at 60% power. At this stage, that's almost too good. But I'm nowhere near fighting fit yet. This body is not going to hold up under tournament demands. To fight for real, I can't be saddled with even 1% doubt. Go in with doubts, and all my good recovery work could still be undone. I might have turned 29 last week, but the best can still be yet to come, right? Exhausted sumo journalists stepped back from reporting this week as the tour continued its 13-day consecutive run. Sports Hochi, though, went to Okayama on October 25th and brought news of a 15-bout practice session between Asanoyama and Takakesho the fourth such set two they've had of late. With so many guys wanting Dokyo time, I'm grateful to have the Ozeki give me so many chances to fight, said Asanoyama on his rising training pace. When we tussle for real, I hope to ensnare him in my grip. That's what brings out my power. And then he uttered the fateful words. I want to make it to Kyushu, in good condition. More on that at the end, I'm afraid. Takakesho, meanwhile, reflected thus. The score doesn't count, so I simply tried a few things out. Even stuff I'd not do in tournament bouts. My body's moving well, I feel, but the build-up has only just begun. The Okayama talk segment played to the crowd by featuring two men with the same sumo first name as a mythical local hero. And one of whose friends happens to be a monkey. Tobizaru and Tsurugisho also reminded fans that apart from elementary school, they've been learning and fighting together ever since kindergarten. The following day took the tour to ex Okinomi's home turf of Shimane and to the city of Izumo. Here, Terunofuji fought Asanoyama eight times straight, ending up winning six of those. Both men went for inside right on every single occasion, with Terunofuji even conceding dangerous positions to test out his defense. Had we not been guillotined, I might have fought more, the Yokozuna told the press. The pain in my hip has dropped somewhat, I guess. It seems to be gradually getting better. And if I'm up for it, I'll fight some more in the practice sessions ahead. Asanayama, still healthy then, said, He feels so difficult to move when he's tight on the belt. And the ways in which he breaks a grip, slashes inside or grabs outside left, are all different class. My wins against him in training mean nothing if I can't do it on the tournament stage. I want to beat him for real at least once. Izumo is the hometown of Sumo's top referee, who will take up the top official rank from January next year. You can really see what this tour event means to the Izumo people said the next Kimura Shonosuke, after getting applause as loud as that for any wrestler on show. Given my increased responsibility, he added, the final year of my sumo career will weigh as much as the other 49 combined. Young Adami Fuji continues to be adored. 
in Izumo by the 2,000 kids invited from local schools. I like the kids and do my best to please them, he said after posing for numerous photos. You have to respect how brave they are when calling out to a sumo wrestler. The day after that, yesterday, saw the strongmen move to Maniwa Okayama, where Terunofuji returned to the exhibition card, fighting Kirishima and beating him with a thrust over despite conceding double grip. But the practice matches he fought that day went nowhere near as well. Although he charged down enemy thrusts and pulled off a throw at first, he lost four of the ensuing six to ever more buoyant Gonoyama, and was cursing when he lost. It's an honor to fight him, said Gonoyama, who last tasted Yokozuna flesh in July at a Sadogatake practice session. Here he outpowered Teru in the charge and caught him off guard with sideways parries in a very promising warm up for their first competitive bout. That same session saw Daesho go 2 and 1 against Meisei and others, while Meisei went 3 and 1 against Daesho and Co. The latter confessed that the long hours of coach travel are taking a toll on his back but insists with the right stretching tools and physio, he'll continue to be fine. And then came today, in the city of Hiroshima, where Asanoyama sadly pulled up when charging into Nishikigi right at the end of the morning session. Yes, ironically the same Nishikigi who himself pulled up while charging last month. He's out for the tour finale tomorrow, said tour supervisor coach Wakamatsu, who's also from his stable. A left leg muscle tear is suspected. Scans will be done next week, near his stable's Fukuoka camp. With the Yokozuna and Ozeki confining themselves to ringside, Sekiwake Kotonowaka filled in for the senior role today, fighting 15 times, with 14 wins. He took six bouts straight off Gonoyama before dropping just the one, then took eight more off other men. I never expected to fight that much, so I'm slightly tired right now, Kotonowaka told Sports Hochi. It felt more like 20 bouts because they were one after the other. Back in my stable we take more water breaks and fight at our own pace, you see but that's what can raise your level on tour. Now some might think that I'm acting too big for my boots, but you've got to put yourself out there. I'm looking up rather than looking down. And Gonoyama, who's always had the raw power, has now upped his level again.